we are taking effort to make all these things for y'all so please y'all also make an effort to like and press the bell icon and comment if you really liked it hello students so today we are going to discuss about blog how to write a blog i am making this video because many children had requested for it I was not going to make a video on blog because there's a reason behind it children because anything can come out of the blue for blog writing so there is no such particular topics i could suggest for y'all so i am i cannot make blog writing videos of other topics because anything can come okay but out of that i would take one as an example only and i'll show it to you it's a simple blog uh, again and again i'm telling you if you are good at vocabs if you are good at grammar you can write any kind of sentence related to a particular topic given to you for example familiar or else father or else woken ender if you are good with your vocabs if you are good with your grammar rule if you know using that grammar rule how you are going to construct a sentence any sentence if you make for this particular topics given to you for blog writing you are going to get marks children only make sure that you don't literally translate the things for example i'll just give you one example my father's name is peter so this is one sentence in english when you are translating or when you are writing this sentence in german don't make this mistake don't write like mein vater's name is this is wrong okay this is called literal translation which is wrong so when you want to translate something this english sentence normally it is in your head and then you all try to translate it in german while writing any blog or any one sentence you are making by your own in german so when you are making it in german only concentrate on the nouns and the verbs only that you take like in this sentence what is the main word father then what is the word next is name when you talk about name either you can use the word heisen or either you can use ist which is nothing but the sein form so these vocab should be there in front of you and then taking this vocabs you have to think in german okay when you're talking about your father how to tell it then mein vater heist peter okay you can write like this so this is the proper thing now once you know that literal translations are wrong so that you all won't make mistakes in sentence construction whatever grammar is there for you like perfect form personal pronomen adjective endung and preposition whatever is there you can utilize this knowledge you can use or apply this knowledge in framing your sentence even if you frame one random sentence for example we are comma aus indian when you write this sentence now i have written it intentionally wrong to show you that when you make mistakes it's fine when you make mistakes but then you all are supposed to write only 8 or 10 sentences when you all are supposed to write only 8 or 10 sentences by your own you have enough time to rectify the things coming back checking whether all the grammar is correct so we are is correct now you know the rule but we are common is a normal rule so we have to write according to we are it is en so this corrections you all can make okay we are common aus indian what i want to tell you even if you make one wrong sentence always come up and check according to the rule whether it is correct whether that rule is applicable okay properly you have to check it so this is one thing write only 8 or 10 sentences don't go more than 12 maximum is 10 or 12 don't go beyond that so you are supposed to write one sentence for each small point okay like this you are supposed to write at least 8 maximum 10 or 12 don't go beyond that you all are going to get marks for simple 
grammatically correct sentences they are not expecting from you high fi sentences or something like that make simple sentence if you are capable of making high fi sentence good good enough but if you want to make simple and grammatically correct as simple as it is you will get marks easily so don't worry about that now let's go to the question your question will look like that you are supposed to write block schreiben and you are supposed to write an blog on mind fatter now example i'm taking any one personality i will take even if you have learned mutter same sentence what you have learned for mutter you can put for fatter nakbar friend teacher try to make sentences or remember those sentences which is suitable for every kind of person like their name we can write for anyone their age their profession their personality yeah their hobbies this can be applicable to everyone so like that sentences you all can make now for mind fatter so assume we are supposed to make one blog on mind fatter and in the question paper they will give you unhalspunkt means the internal points they will give you some points on the basis of those points you all are supposed to make sentence unhalspunkt so example for fato i have some points like uh, beruf uh, then naam then uh, alter then hobbies then was marked ear zusam and what you all are, you all do together and something extra 1 2 3 4 five, five sentences i have uh, points i have done then extra thing maybe their personality okay so how zehen is how they look how they are how they appear how they look how zehen and extra something 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 six i have made so now as you have seen there are six points children so it can happen that they will give you six points so eight sentence how to make so on one point one or two points you can make extra two sentences because they have asked you to make eight to 10 sentence so you all are supposed to make some sentences mostly they will give you total eight points like uh, in your question bank for now uh, they have given you your like for example one v longer so this on one you have to make one sentence on v longer you have to make one sentence okay so that way you have to uh, every point here for this one for this one total it became two so like this everything if you count it will become eight only and extra if you want to make any two sentences you all can make so this is how you all are supposed to make one sentence so here you are supposed to make sentence on one and w a w n one on that one sentence wohin ge faren on that one sentence and we langa on that one sentence wo ge bli ben on that one sentence we on that one mit wem bis du ge faren on that one sentence zehens judish khait on that one sentence activitaten on that one sentence so in one line if you see over there you are supposed to make in one line two sentences in the given example so they might give you two points in one line or different different points like how i gave for mind fatter beruf one point alter one point so in this way it will come otherwise how it is given over here one and wohin ge faren two points like this it will come now let's start with mind fatto now in the blog writing children the most important thing is your headline okay one tag line you have to make for yourself now as for the any person if you want to uh, describe any person one tag line you can learn and keep which is suitable for everyone now one which i have with me today is mine lieblings person auf auf dem planeten 
so my favorite person on the planet i am writing now this headline can be used for father mother sister neighbor teacher anyone friend yeah extra thing what you can do is once you have written that minor leblings per zone hyphen you can give and you can write that topic name also mine father extra thing now children this also can be called as small tagline no need like to tell like on the planet even my favorite person that is more than enough for making a headline one small trick i'll give you even if you know that topic name mine father extra one word also if you add to that line no it will become a tagline okay so like this so now we'll write this tagline so prepare one tagline for at least the topics which are given to you in the question bank you can find out the tagline from uh, the google or you can make your own tagline which is simple grammatically correct okay that you all are supposed to do for your own so minor assume i have written that tagline now this tagline you can write in the middle in the middle now this for example this is your answer paper so you can write in the middle or else you can even write it from the margin no problem at all if you want to underline it underline if you want to write it in a block letter write in block but don't use different color pens only blue color pen please use ball pen that too now this is your paper yeah so now if i have i want to write the tagline here or if i want to write from the margin your wish so this is your margin now let's start the main topic now when you are starting the main topic children mostly children are asking the questions ma'am are we supposed to leave lines in german the paragraph starts from the margin itself so you all are supposed to write from the margin write from the margin okay no leaving two finger space or something like that nothing write from the margin itself if you want to make a new paragraph what you can do is you can just leave one line and then again start from the margin itself so this is how the paragraph is made in german we don't uh, keep two fingers distance and all so this is as simple as that now the internal material i'll show you one example so this we have written and at the end after your blog is finished eight or 10 sentences finished you can leave one more line down and then at the end after leaving one line you can write this word queller q q for queen u for umbrella e for elephant double l l for lamp and e e for elephant queller give a colon and write the word nak n a c h nak okay now i have small space now for example this is your margin assume so at the end queller colon nak and you can write any type of link over here now y'all are from the mobile age y'all are very much familiar with making links by your own so you can write any link kind of de hash pune anything any simple link you can make related to that paragraph by your own and you just copy it down below that blog and your blog is over yeah so this is the format now uh the internal material i'll start one one small sentence i'll make so for example here you have mentioned your tagline the next line i'll start writing my blog so mine so one uh, sentence on the point name so mine father heist peter full stop if you want to start writing from your start writing from your you want to start writing from your start writing from your no problem just don't write 1 2 3 that's wrong okay don't write like that in the beginning normally to count the sentence we we tell you to make 1 2 3 but you in the exam you have to write it like a paragraph so write from the margin okay then once you have written mine fata heist peter then you can talk about his age now you know no he he is he we can write the same sentence we can make for mother friend according to their pronouns you are going to write er is he is 45 year old okay 
air is 45 years old you want to write in figure numbers words whatever uske liye kuch marks nahi change hone wala hai so air is 45 years old then next you can talk about his profession mine father is you can even say or else air is arst von beruf now no one is going to come at your place and check whether your father is doctor or engineer or something so write something which is which you are comfortable writing for the spelling purpose okay so arst likho ya fir kabhi kabhi bacche yahan pe aise likh dete hain so don't make that mistake write such a profession which is easy to write for you okay now even if you don't write von beruf even if you write arist arst it's fine they are going to give that much marks only okay so one sentence this is second sentence this is third sentence then beruf one sentence finish then hobbies you can write zain hobby means he is hobby okay zain hobby now if i have prepared for my mother if you have prepared a blog for your mother your mother's um hobby for example is cooking or reading or something you can even write it for your father also not a big deal so zain hobby is cooking you can write or lazen whatever you are going to write same things nowadays everybody's hobby are same okay everyone's hobbies are same so don't write something which is real no need whatever you is easy for you to write write that so zain hobby is lazen so one sentence done so 1 2 3 4 sentence done now i don't have space so i am erasing it now assume ki yahan pe apna ek paragraph khatam ho gaya you can start it from here again then so you can write about what what uh, how is he okay au zehen au zehen ka matlab hai this was a verb actually you should know this verb au zehen matlab to appear so how he looks like so you can say he he is friendly this is a personality trait how he looks so you can say handsome so for handsome we have the word hoops we have if you don't remember anything smart and all you can even say air is gross so in german for gross we have different different meanings it is called as great it is called as tall it is called as big so in this context it can be said as he is tall okay you can write so you i am giving you simple sentence taking in consideration that if a topic comes which you don't know so at least simple sentence agar banate ho to bhi aapko marks milte hain okay so air is gross and you can even simple sentence i am making now you can talk about his personality air is friendlyish he is friendly okay what you all do together so i am woken and so i am making some sentence which you have already learned in your question answer so those sentence we can use i'm woken and i'm woken and spielen wir fußball so what you all do together you can write like this so this is how you all have made at least six sentences extra two sentences you all can write by your own you can end up the topic and then leaving one line you can just write quella colon nach and then one link you make www se bhi link make kar sakte ho ya http okay make one link and then done your blog writing is done so this is how it is now some children will ask ma'am format ke liye kitna marks and all this blog writing is very new for y'all y'all are the second batch who is going second or third batch who is going to give this paper of german language of new syllabus for letter writing we had a format of marking for blog as such uh, we have not decided much for the internal thing y'all are going to get marks even if the headline by mistake if you forget still because y'all are pandemic children we will little bit give leverage little bit if y'all have written everything nicely y'all will be given marks good marks try to attempt everything in the paper attempt everything attempting everything doesn't mean write rubbish in the paper no children write something which is related to that topic like for example if you want to write a possessive article of a male person at least write zain if you make zainer mistake zain mistake we can understand at least something you have written correct okay 
but if you write something out of the box like where you are supposed to write possessive and you all write a personal pronoun then that's a wrong concept you all don't know anything in german it shows here so please whenever you are attempting any question try to attempt with option i would suggest because you all get ample time don't waste your time in looking here and there you can just concentrate on your paper and and from the beginning keep your speed high okay so all these things you keep uh, when you are supposed to write like for example bücher that is books so you are supposed to put your unbestimmt article we don't have unbestimmt article for plural so don't leave it blank leaving it blank means you don't know the answer so you can put a cross or you can put a black this hyphen it this shows that in plural we don't have unbestimmt article okay just an example i am telling you every question try to write on new page here you can make your grammar sentences down you can do the rough work always keep this habit uh try to write with only one color that is a blue pen and rough work try to do with pencil only okay if you like the video children try to share it and like and do comment children when you all comment that the video is good or bad it helps me to make more videos it it encourages me and if only you all are telling me do this video do that video then i to have some other commitments also children but when you encourage me to do i come up with this okay and there are uh, people who are behind making all this stuff for y'all so encourage us with your like your comments and your support